Hello, welcome again to Night Network's legendary now, after only a couple of weeks, pop quiz. Welcome along, and we want you to pick your wits against this week's Fab Four, who are looking <coughs> rather clever, if I might say. <laughs> First of all, right at the top, Mr. Paul Hardcastle. Yeah. How are you? All right? Yeah. 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 Now, you've been away for a while. An old friend, of course, to Night Network. What have you been doing? What are you up to? Uh, I'm just halfway through a new album. Mm -hmm. um, TV advertised album, actually. Oh. Um, thinking of start, starting my own label as well. Good. Own production company. Alrighty. And now we move on down the line to Miss Juliet Roberts. How are you? I'm fine, thank Good. you. Good. What have you been up to? And what are you going to be up to? What am I going to be up to? New album. Um, got a tour lined up in America. So. That's and it. also rumours that you've been working with Paul. Yeah, no more rumours, yes. <laughs> yes, those rumours are now out in the open. <laughs> now, okay. someone who is about to get even on tour around the UK from Brother Beyond, Steve Alexander. Hey. 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 Oh, come on. Thank you. What do you mean, come on? That's it. I need some reaction. <laughs> so, the, when's the tour get underway? It's uh, 6th of March in Southampton, and uh, there's two dates in Amersfoort that in. 15th and 16th, and we've just added one on the 20th in Royal Albert Hall. The Royal Albert Hall. All right, yes, brother, beyond now, that the is road. grand. All right, good luck with all that. That's coming Thank up. You. And now from uh, Hue and Cry, Pat Kane. Yay. Yes. <laughs> and may we say on that network, a fab single it is. Look at Linda. A classic. What single? Yours. I've given up pop music. Oh, come on. It's you you love it. You love it. You having a baby? Yeah. <laughs> well, tonight? <laughs> That's very short tonight. Another exclusive here on Night Network. Get the bucket out. Get the bucket out. <laughs> oh, okay, are you ready to play, contestants? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Yes, my dear. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. money yeah. boy, yeah. you. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, right Before on. we get <laughs> out of the way, let's, uh, let's let our dear viewer know what happened to our uh, competition. So far has... Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, Juliet has zero. Oh. Zero. Oh, zero. Uh, Steve has one. One. And Pat has three. three. So Stop. in the lead at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, on the pop quiz is Pat. Yeah. Uh, cheap points. Cheap points. Yeah. Paul has three. Three. Juliet has two. Two. Steve has three. Three. And Pat has three. Three. So at the moment, oh, wow. we have Whoa. lots of people in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the answers that we need to know. The scores, please, on the doors for Paul. Five. Five. He nearly didn't make it. Uh, Juliet. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Steve. Five. He's steaming. Pat. Nine. Nine. Woo. Fire around, so you're going to have to uh -huh. play along at home and just shout at the screen right. if you know the answer. This is where we bring out our buzzers and bleeps. Please, when you press your buzzers, wait for me to call out your name because... ...send lots of points. And what do points make? Um, Thank you, Juliet. That's an extra <laughs> point for Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> the only one who watches it. The only one who watches it. OK, here we go. Let's uh, start the clock. We haven't got one, have we? Doesn't matter. OK, what's this week's network chart number one? Steve? It's... Uh, Mark Alvin and Gene Pitney. It's absolutely correct. It knocked the old uh, other one off last week. This is the next question. Who were known as the Four Aims? Beatles? The Beatles, no. <laughs> Their name has in fact cropped up once in this quiz. There are four of them. They must be the four. Yes! But, well done, Pat. Extra point for you. Oh, thank God. Bonus. <laughs> name two of T Rex's number one. Hot Hot love. love. And? Get it on. Correct. The others are Telegram Sam and Metal Guru. Right, in oh, 1975, man. who was picking up the pieces? Yes! Average oh, White Band. The average White Band. Oh, A big hit. Who were the Hersham Boys? Yes! Paul? Um, Oh, God, Jimmy... Oh, uh... Jimmy... Ooh, uh Pud, what's his name, Jimmy? It was Jimmy Percy, but that's not uh, what we want. We want the group. Sham69. It is correct. Two points to you. Quick fire round on the pop quiz. Whose only hit in 1979 was Silly Games? <laughs> Oh, Come on, the lights on, oh. Janet Kay. Yes. Be quick. I, I, I You've pressed. got to be quick. I pressed. Oh, goodness, it's quite a quick fire round. <laughs> right, now, what was the Jacksons' only UK number one? <laughs> I want you back. No. Oh, right. No. And Paul. Got to be there. No. I'll give you a clue. If I get out the A to Z, what would ABC. I do? No. <laughs> Show you the way. Show you the way. So, listen to the clues at least. I was trying to push no, I'm sorry, Steve. You would have been too far. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, Who are God. the Glimmer Twins? Oh, did you call them? Um, Rolling Stones buggers. What are they called again? Um, uh, uh, Mick Jagger and Richards. And no, what, Mick Jagger and Richards. What, what, what Richards? Richards. Keith Richards. That's right. We yes, actually had written down... Probably Cliff tedious Richard. giving me the point, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, who were pretty vacant in 1977, Paul? Sex Pistols. The Sex Pistols. Oh, you playing, Steve? Yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> this is going to be our last one. Our last okay, one. Okay, okay, okay. What was the name of the Beatles' own record label? 
Apple. Paul, Apple. Apple is absolutely correct, and Hooray! that is the end of the pop quiz. It works, it works. <laughs> Well, it's very hard work, this. But now, this is the, the real moment of truth as we get back to computer to tell us that Paul has scored... 18! 18! Wow. Juliet has scored... 10! 10. No, I had a bonus point. Steve has... <laughs> Nine. Nine. <laughs> and Pat has? Ten. So our pop oh, quiz winner right at the top this week, Mr. The Paul Hardcastle. <laughs> well, that's about it for the old pop quiz for this week. We'll be back in seven days' time. Our fan four this week, thank you very much for coming in. Now, here's a little question for you, and we want you to write in with the answer, and we'll send you a load of Night Network goodies.